Hi, teachers. I'm Andy Fail. I am one of your cohort leaders for Reading Academies. And on behalf of all of the cohort leaders, we wanted to let you know about the very next thing that you will be doing in Reading Academies. Our next day of Reading Academies will be either um, January 26th, if you're in cohort A, or January 28th, if you're in cohort B. And on that day, the very first thing that we will be doing is um, you will be completing what's called an artifact for the course. It has to be completed to be able to move on to module seven. And what this artifact is, is a one to two minute video. Okay, it is a one to two minute video of you teaching just directly into the camera. It's kind of like as if you were teaching to kids, but it's not really a video of you teaching in your classrooms. There can be no learners in the video. So it's just like you um, teaching, like talking into the camera like I'm doing right now, okay? What the video is required to be about is about manipulating phonemes. So you remember from our work last time that phonemes are the sounds in words. So this is a lesson of you teaching things like if I take the word log and I listen to all the sounds and I replace the ah with e, eh, then log becomes leg, okay? It's a video of teaching that. So the first thing um, on the morning of uh, Reading Academies, you will learn how to do this. You will see the rubric. You will see an example. You will be given time to record it and to submit it to us for feedback. And then um, to, if you, after feedback from us, if you need to change anything to record it again, to be able to submit it to our outside graders for grading, okay? You will have time to do that on the day of, but the purpose of this video today is to give you the choice of when to create it if you want to create it ahead of time, okay? If you are the type of learner that you process information fairly quickly, um, you feel pretty comfortable recording yourself teaching, then you can basically stop watching this video right now and don't worry about one other thing and just complete the task on that morning, okay? But if you are the type of learner who likes to take more time to process, um, maybe you like to take uh, quite a bit of time to plan out your videos, or maybe the space where you um, participate in Reading Academies is shared with like your whole campus and you are concerned about filming in front of others, then you may want to um, choose to complete the video ahead of time to submit it for feedback, okay? So if that's you, then keep watching and I will walk you through what to do. But if you think, no, I'm gonna wait, I'll just do it the morning of, then you can stop, don't think one other thing about it and we will show you exactly what to do on the 26th or the 28th. All right, so bye-bye to some of you. <laughs> okay, for everybody else, um, like I said, the, the artifact is a video of you teaching, manipulating or changing phonemes. There's no letters involved, okay? Um, you're not going to talk about the names of letters and you're not going to have like a whiteboard behind you like showing the word it's only about the sound. So you're only, you're only talking about the word and the sounds in the words, all right? And um, in reading academies, we've been learning about the gradual release of responsibility model. So that is first the I do portion. I will tell you what we are going to do and I will model, I will, I will teach it to you, right? Then we move into the we do portion, and that's where we practice doing the skill together, right, with learners. And then um, normally in the gradual release of responsibility model, then the learners would go off and do it by themselves, and you're seeing if they can do it. Um, in this video, there's not going to be any real learners in the video, so it's just you doing the I do portion, 
and then pretending that you have learners with you who are doing it with you in the we do together portion. But then there's not the you do go off and do because like I said, there's no real learners. Here are the directions. This is copied and pasted straight out of um, that your course, this is what your course says, just we put it on one document. And this document can be found in a link in the email where you got this video. Okay, so like I said, it is a one to two minute video um, and it is where you are directly teaching and modeling and providing opportunities to do together about phoneme manipulation. It's you simulating a lesson and the words that you're using need to be one syllable words, three to five phonemes, okay? So um, the examples that they give here, ship, ship has three phonemes, sh, i, p, block, block has four phonemes, b, o, a, k, and you can get up to five phonemes in the words that you're using. You are required to do substituting either the medial or the final sound. You'll notice that this is correlated with a first and second grade standard. So kindergarten teachers, you are not used to teaching this, but it is no big deal. You're going to be able to do it like that. And I'm going to show you what it looks like here in just a minute. In the video, when you have the kids participating with you, your fake learners, you will need to provide an opportunity. You will give corrective feedback, like pretending that a kid does something incorrect and correcting them, and then affirming, pretending that they're doing it right and, and they're doing it um, correctly with you. And then here are the directions down here. These are the, not the directions, these are the um, parts that are required. Okay, so in the direct teach portion, you are required to state the objective in student-friendly language. So you wouldn't say, boys and girls, we are going to manipulate phonemes. Um, explicitly teach the skill, explain exactly what you mean, and then model at least two examples of the skill. And you really probably only want to do two the first time that I did this video, I did three examples and I went over two minutes. So it can only be two minutes long. So probably just stick with two examples. And then you have to make sure that you are clearly and accurately articulating the phonemes. So remember we learned about this last time um, in reading academies, you can't have things like fa, ma, pa, that extra schwa you need to make sure that you are saying the, the sounds like oh, f, mm, mm, s, right? Exactly what the sounds are. So you may wanna have some extra time to practice that if that was, um, if that was challenging for you. And then in the we do portion, Again, with your fake learners, you will give them an opportunity to practice with you. So you'll say, okay, now let's do some together. And here again, you also do two examples. And um, you, like I said before, correct and affirm kids. And again, this accurately articulating phonemes is, um, is a big portion of your grade. Okay. To make the way to do this is to record it in studio inside of Canvas. So like right now I'm recording this on Zoom. You can't do that. You need to be in the Canvas platform where you access your Reading Academy's content. And um, on the page where you go to do the artifact, you have access to something called Studio, which is a way to record right there in Canvas. And then you can upload it um, into the assignment. And again, only two, no students. Um, uh, look right here, it has to be video. If you do only audio, it won't be scored. And um, only two minutes. After two minutes, it'll stop and they will grade you on the rubric based on what, you've, what they've seen so far in two minutes. Let's look at the rubric, okay? 10 points for the objective being stated in student-friendly language. 20 points for the explicit teaching of the skill that you are 
explaining to the kids exactly what they're about to do and that you demonstrate it. It says demonstrated by the learner. The learner is you. You are the learner in this Canvas course where this um, rubric is posted. So on this, um, on this rubric, when they say the learner, they mean you, okay? And then two examples modeled accurately get you 20 points. If you do one example only, you lose 10 points right there. Okay, then within the I do portion and the we do portion, accurately articulating your phonemes is 20 points. If most phonemes are clearly and accurately produced, if you miss some, you can lose 10 points right there. Okay, 20 points for two opportunities to practice together with your invisible learners. If you only practice with one word, then you lose 10 points. And 10 points for affirming and correcting. If all you do is affirm and yeah, you're doing a great job, or all you do is correct with your invisible learners, then you will lose five points. So you need to kind of plan in a way for your invisible learners to make a mistake and correct them and um, something that they're doing correctly and you tell them that they're doing a good job, okay? So let me show you what this looks like. Here we go. Boys and girls, I'm so glad that you're here today. We are going to practice in our group today. We are going to be changing up the sounds and some words. We know that all words are made up of sounds. And if we change up some of those sounds, then we get new words. And so let me show you what I mean. If we take the word cat and we listen to all the sounds, cat. Okay, cat. If we change the a ah to a, uh, we get the word cut, cut. So cat can change to cut by changing the a ah to a. Uh. Okay, let's, let me show you another one. In the word block, listen to all of those sounds, block. I hear the ah uh sound in the middle. If I change ah to ah and keep everything else the same, I get black, black. So block can change to black by changing one sound. Okay, let's do it together. Here's the first word. Listen carefully to all of the sounds. Ham, ham. Say it with me. Ham. Good. Okay, now let's change the ah in the middle. Let's change the ah to eh. What word would we get? M, hem. Oh, not, not I, not I, eh in the middle. M, hem, hem. Okay, let's do one more together. The word lost lost. Okay. Let's take, you hear the ah uh, sound in there? Lost. Okay. Let's change ah uh, to ah. Uh. What word would we have? We would have last. Yes, we would have last. Very good. Good job changing up those sounds. Okay. So that's all it is. I told the kids what they would be doing. I explained the changing the sounds makes a new word. I modeled two examples where they were not doing it with me. And then I said, okay, now let's do some together. And we did two examples. We did ham to hem and lost to last. I um, had them make a mistake. They said the I sound instead of eh. And so then I corrected them. And then I affirmed them that yes, they were changing the sound correctly and making the word last. All right, so that's what your video will look like. Let me show you where you will make it if you choose to do this. And again, you can you can even at this point wait, right? And say, ah, oh, this is fine. I'll do it. I'll do it on the morning of reading academies. But if you want to do it ahead of time, let me show you where you will do this. In your course in Canvas, 
Um, you have a page in module six. This is kind of where we stopped last time in November. On the page where it says optional, and it says right here, this assignment does not count towards your final grade. This is actually where we want you to, um, to publish it, to, to put it. Here is studio where you will actually record the video. Sorry, sorry, this is really where I should have started. This is studio where you will record. You um, record right here and, um, and then you can go into your module in module six, optional. The reason that we want you to do it here is this is how we as your cohort leaders can see it, okay? If you, go ahead and publish it. If you don't publish it here and you publish it on the next page where it's the real deal, like this is really your assignment and this is what will be graded. If you publish it here, we won't see it. It's going to go to our outside graders because the way that reading academies is set up for these big assignments, these artifacts is they want to remove the bias. They want to remove the bias of us knowing you and us uh, saying, oh yeah, she's a great teacher. So yes, she got all her full points. They really want you to be graded on the rubric. And so your, your video, when it's published here is going to go to some cohort leaders in another district who are um, who will be grading you on the rubric and they are the people that give you your final grades and then we get the grades from them um, later on. And so by publishing it to this page where it says optional, by publishing it here, then we have the opportunity to watch it and give you some feedback, maybe make some suggestions to change it to be, for you to be able to get full points um, or at least passing points. And, um, and then you can make changes and publish it to the assignment still on the day of reading academies. Okay. So the day of reading academies, the first day we come back, we will give you feedback. If you publish it now to optional, we can give you feedback on that morning saying, yes, it looks good. We think that you will um, be great on the rubric, or we might suggest some changes. Now, a disclaimer though, we are giving you our best, our best thoughts, our best guess on if we think that this will make, make the full points on the rubric. But again, we are not the ones grading it. So we cannot guarantee that, right? Different people, you know, have some different viewpoints, but we think that we're calibrated enough to understand the way that the other, um, the other people would, would score your, um, your video. Um, okay, so you can do this now and publish it to the optional. And um, if you have any other questions, you can reach out to any of us who are your cohort leaders. Um, or you can also reach out to, if you don't have somebody on your campus who is a cohort leader, you can reach out to any of your instructional coaches and they can um, get with us and, and ask us and kind of clarify with you in person. Um, but we would, any of us would be happy to, um, to Zoom with you, to talk with you on the phone, anything like that to help answer any questions that you may have. Like I said, there are other links in this email that can also answer your questions. You can take a closer look at the directions and the rubric and another example video by somebody who is not me. Okay, thank you for your time. And we appreciate all that you are doing. We know that you are working so, so hard and we know it's not easy and we are thinking of you all the time. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.